first thing in the morning when I come in and check my anaesthetic machine, I turn it on and then check the emergency features first, which includes the tug test of the pipelines, making sure they're all in and safe. And while I'm waiting for the machine to turn on, I check my suction as well by occluding and then checking that it's actually suctioning. Another check I will do is checking the emergency oxygen cylinder on the back, but this needs to be turned on properly first. Another check is making sure that the independent oxygen line is working as well. And turning on the monitor. A lot of the checks on this machine are all automatic, so the only thing I need to do is press full test and the rest does it for me and it explains what I need to do. So what is it testing for now? So at the moment it's testing for the ventilator leak. So it's asked me to open my circle circuit to make sure that it recognises when there is a leak on our ventilator. Now it's asking me to occlude it. And this further tests the leak as well to make sure there isn't the, the integrity of the circle circuit is all intact. While it's doing this, it will test delivery of gases on its own automatically. And then once it's done, it will ask me to test the vaporizers. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that we've got the correct vaporizer uh, highlighted. I press confirm and then it will ask me to turn it on. What this does is it makes sure we can deliver the, our sealed fluorine gas without any blockages. And once that's okay, I'll turn it off again. Do you turn it on on a certain number no, or no. Does, doesn't matter? Okay. Just as long as it's on and open. Okay. And you can see it's testing that you can still flush through with oxygen here. Mm -hmm. So all these tests are now all these tests are now basically testing for leaks exactly. of the system. Okay. Mm -hmm. Making sure that we can ventilate automatically through the machine without there being any leaks um, throughout. This is the longest bit of the test. That's all right. Which is never a bad thing. <laughs> You haven't actually switched any gases yet? Not yet. No. The only thing I've turned on is the SIVO and turned it off again. Uh -huh. I've not tested our hypoxic guard or air delivery at all up until now. So it's just going to ask me to turn on the nitrous above six litres. Okay. Six litres or above. So we're testing the Omida Link 25 yeah. system. Okay. And then it will say turn off the O2 flow and what we want to see is that the nitrous will turn off at the same time, which it does. Uh -huh. The machine will recognise that and make sure that that's all intact as well. And then it will ask me to turn on air over three litres to make sure that is okay. Mm -hmm. And now it's asking me just to test the circuit leak itself. So that will ask me to turn it on to manual ventilation, mm -hmm. change the APL valve between 30 and 70 and press confirm. And then once this is done, I'll check the um, oxygen alarms. So you don't actually need to attach any bag to the end of the circuit, okay. You can do in your own independent checks if you want to check. Mm -hmm. If you want to put a bag on the end and you want to check it yourself, but the machine automatic checks don't need you to. Mm -hmm. That's saying that that's all okay, so it wants me to open the patient wire. As you can see, the bag is inflated. Uh -huh. As soon as that's open, that should deflate. Uh -huh. Turn the APL valve back to zero and press confirm. That's all the daily checks done. It's then going to ask me to calibrate the O2 sensors, so it's the flow and pressure and the weekly O2 cell. So I will do flow and pressure first, and the way we do that is if we disconnect our circuit, 
disconnect our soda line and open up the ventilation chamber. And, and what do we see there in the ventilation chamber? So we can see the O2 sensor. The green there. one. Yes, and then the flow meters here and here. We don't touch any of that, we just open it. And, and because it's open to air, that's how it calibrates. So that will say that it's done. Okay. So the next thing we do is relatch the breathing system. Relatch the CO. And it will tell it, it will say that it's passed on today's date and the time. Okay, brilliant. And then the next one to do is the weekly O2 cell, which is exactly the same as the last time. So that, that's the fuel cell? Yes. So the, the previous one was flow The previous meters. one was the flow meters. This is now the O2 cell. Okay. So it's the exact same process. And this sometimes takes a bit longer. Okay, so flow meters actually do flow and pressure? Yes. Okay, within the system. Okay. Well, that's exactly the same process, but it's mm -hmm. just calibrating yeah. the uh, oxygen fuel cell. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it, usually the flow and pressure is done monthly, the obviously weekly, as it says weekly, mm -hmm. and then you do a monthly O2 cell as well. Okay. And this, our machine will prompt us to do that. Okay. Have you ever changed the fuel cell yourself or? You... Mm, uh, in the, on our old machines I have. It's mm -hmm. usually just unscrewing this part here and replacing it. But now we usually ask our medical electronics to come up and do it only because they're more trained than we are. Even the machine says that you need to change it. Okay. If the machine says, then we wouldn't use it and we'd make sure it was replaced and safe to use before we used it. And it doesn't take very long to change. Great. Okay. So why is it two, why is it, why has it got two weekly O2 cell check and monthly O2 cell check. So the weekly O2 cell is to 21% and okay. the monthly is to 100%. Right, okay. So machine thinks it is more important always to know the minimum cons uh, FiO2. Yes. Okay. Just 21%, yeah. So this one takes its time. And then once I've done that, I'll make sure that the emergency cylinder on the back of the machine is full. And then that's the end of it. All right, okay. Mm. And how do you do that? So it won't let me do it while we're calibrating. I see. Because obviously it delivers oxygen, which then throws off yeah. the percentage it's calibrating to. Okay. So the way in which I'll do that is turn the oxygen, dis oxygen cylinder on. Uh -huh. Turn that on, and then on the front of the machine, it will mm -hmm. tell me how much is in here. Yep. And then I like to check my low oxygen alarms as well, so I'll unplug it from the pipeline. Yep. Keep the oxygen cylinder off, and it will alarm saying there's no oxygen delivery. I see. I'll then turn that on, the alarm will stop, and then I'll know that I can deliver oxygen in an emergency. Okay. Nice one. This is taking the time, isn't it? It does take its time. Oh, okay. So that's all done. Done. So again, you relatch. Always relatch carefully, obviously, because you don't want to disturb anything. Relatch that one and press back. And then my last check will be to make sure the common gas outlet works. So I'll turn that on. Make sure that's illuminated and make sure it tells me on the screen that the ventilator is off and the common gas outlet is on. This one has a fail safe, so you can't leave it on, so that will not close mm -hmm. with that still on. So then we turn it back off again, that goes away, and we're good to go. So that is for connecting an extra circuit, like a vein circuit or yeah. pediatric mm -hmm. um, Jackson Reese circuit or, yeah. or whatever it is. Exactly. Okay. Right, shall we check the, uh, yes. the cylinders? So the cylinder, so I'll disconnect our oxygen. Now, and turn on our cylinder. And you need to do it one turn. And then come around to the front. And then the front on the screen here, this represents the cylinder, which is telling me there's 6,920 litres. Oh, it tells you in litres, not mm. in actual. Uh, and then the pressure. pipe, mm -hmm. it tells me there is nothing. Mm -hmm. 
So then what I will do is turn the cylinder off, mm -hmm. flush the machine and it should alarm. O2 flow, O2 supply. And the alarm goes. And the alarm goes off. As soon as I turn the oxygen cylinder on, that should stop. There you go. Okay. Then I will plug oxygen back in again. Turn off the cylinder. And then that box should go away because we're now running off piped oxygen. Uh -huh. okay. And then we're ready to go. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Of course.